Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here along with Exurgent. Say hello, Exurgent. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? And he is helping us learn uh, War in the East 2. And before we get into all that, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and also the like button. And we'd love to hear your comments, questions. If you have questions, we will be checking them out and either answer them in some future stream or possibly a, a quick text answer. So, yes, we're going to continue here. And as he was just saying, we are going to see about um, bashing south around this group. Okay. Now, do you think it would be better to start here and start clearing this out this way, or would it be better to start here, do you think? I think your first option was the better option. Right. Okay. So we're going to look here, and we have 11.6 attack value versus... 0.3 defense. So it looks like it's going to be um, a cakewalk for our soldiers, of course. Nobody will be hurt. And it's almost quite true. 11 people. Yeah. So. It's not bad, game. I'll take that. Yeah. Okay. I would ignore that one. Okay. I would, so we're gonna... I, would try and, I would try and take out the three fortresses behind. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we might get a bit of a penalty movement here. Um, so I guess we can come up here. Bit of attrition to move into there, but let's do it anyway. Let's get up on the edge. Yeah, click on there. That's it. And then he's our first one in the chain. If you leave him there. Yeah, you, try, okay. you could try getting rid of that one one if you want, but... Um, no, it's not that good of odds. I think we have plenty so more to use. Let's move the rest of his core out and around. So they're going to... Let's see, yeah, let's move them. Like, if, here he is. In fact, I tell you, I tell you what, move him back one first, and, we'll, and, I'll teach you, and I'll show you something else. Where if you move him to where the 14 is, back, back down one. That's it, move here. him to there. Yeah. Right. Now, if you click on 32 ID on the right hand side, the name of the unit, hopefully it'll bring up the unit card. So if you click on the go. name at the top, 32 yeah. ID. There you go, yeah. So we can at the bottom of this little unit card, it says assign support units. Let's assign it a support unit. Let's see what we've got in here. Right. So these are all currently assigned to higher HQs that this unit is in the chain of. Mm -hmm. So we're about to assault somebody who's going to have 2-6, so he's quite good defense. Let's give him something like a Pioneer Battalion to break okay. that defense up. So we, we, well, there we go. We've assigned specific specifically to this unit and we'll have to unassign it later because we've assigned it specifically yeah. to this unit a pioneer squadron now a, a battalion a squadron a battalion to try and help us break that two six up let's give that a go and we now have a 28 here and so 14 to 7 i'll do it do it do it deliberate there okay Shit. yeah 28 to there let's let's give him a good there we go. Right. And that worked. Mm -hmm. That got rid of them. So that last infantry unit now can walk through the the oh. one in the core. So really I would leave him where he is now. Okay. I'd leave him yeah, I'd leave him where he is. Take him now, yeah, and let's walk through that gap. Let's try and see how far we can get deep into in upward into Russia. Just keep going. It. Should we follow the railway tracks? Uh, or, yeah, go on or... then. Because we've got the panzers that will go even further, so we can close the we can right. close the pincer with the panzer. Okay, there so he's done. You know, he's got nine. You know, we could attack if you wanted to, but up to you. Go Why on. not? Why not? Because it's it's ten to point one. So yeah, yeah, that's just. And we had the capture the deep. And we've captured. Okay. Yep, that's good. So then. Okay, so we've got that. We'll leave them there. where he is. And we can move up some other forces. Now. So, what? So before we. Yeah, so we have this we've other. Got loads other of, 
shift him. Let's move him out then. Yeah. Okay, so do we want to use him in here? Or do we want to? Uh, I would. Uh, yeah. No, well, I, yeah. I'd go into there. But why didn't you take a different route? I would. I would try and go. That's it. That way, out round the, the back. That's it. Go out to here, and then yeah, and up that way. You think? Yeah. yeah. That's it. So now you, I know you've got a gap of two there, but they're both in the zone of control of both of the, those infantry divisions. So to get through there is going to cost a huge a lot of attrition for those Russian units. So I'm quite mm -hmm. happy with that. All right. Now, do we want to try to break through here? Or... So there's, there's two things that you, you've got to do. You've probably got to leave a few infantry divisions to hold the front to stop those russians mm. counter-attacking right which we but have then what the main here. thing yeah we do but the main thing we want to do though is move the panzers up and around so we want to try and get as many of these panzer units and and uh mechanized units up towards um is it riga that we can yeah, we, we, we're riga's yeah up here yeah so, okay, so as close to that as we can get okay so i would Pick one, yeah, and see see how far he can get. We can get up to here for sure. I'm just, I guess, partially what I'm wondering is how important is it to secure the railways first turn or not? But um... it, cer it certainly is worth capturing some of them because it cuts their lines of supply off as well. Now, do we want to ignore these and encircle them, or do we want to try to? battle our way through this formation here. Right, so there's only really two that are going to stay, the infantry unit and the and the and uh, the armor. um the panzer unit. So I would try and fight the panzer unit off, but I wouldn't do it with my panzer. I would do it with the mechanized. Is there a mechanized unit down there somewhere? Yeah, there it is, further back. 2650, that's it. Yeah. Okay, we can come up to here with this. With a bunch of supplies. Okay, well, deliberate attack. That I yeah. think. Deliberate attack. Yeah. Would we'll do that. Okay, they're routed. The twenty-eight tank division. So what we can do with this guy, if you press B you on your got... keyboard. Okay, B. It's broken that division down into three regiments. Right. So what we do is going to move them regiment by regiment now to right, give okay. us that chain again. So if you move them with a so they're next to each other, so one by one by one, so they're in three hexes in a row, going north. Oh, that do that is fine. So you're trying to trying to create a bit of a chain just so you don't get cut off. That's it. That's fine. And do we want to move this one north as well? Yeah, if you do that, we'll have to backfill it with an infantry well, division well, no, later. Well, then we, we probably can, shouldn't. We, we oh, can well. do that. No, I'm just trying to... Okay, so... Um, because we've got movement good? points left. So you oh, can oh, do that do. if you want to. Oh, we do. But I I just... um not sure what you think is best here. Or should we spread these three out further? Or... I mean, should they be in contact with each other? Should we have a gap of one X per regiment? Because they're only red, because they're only regiments and not divisions now, because we broke it down. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to leave too much of a gap. Maximum okay. one. You don't want to leave two, like you've done with some of the divisions. Okay, so I guess let's see if we do that and that. That would be good. Yep. Okay. That's what we're looking at then. Okay, good. So we have a um, battle line like that. So now, presumably, let's get the first Panzer Division, move them up towards this HQ up here. Yeah, because they should run away. Right. Oh, 
There must be something underneath it. What have we got underneath? Yeah, okay. Um, well, it's a point one versus 15, so I think a hasty attack is... Definitely. Uh, I think it may be just a city garrison, almost an anti-tank brigade or something there. It is an anti-tank brigade, yeah. Okay, so we got that. They're routed. Right, so before you, yeah, how you, we can get right up to the border of Riga. Right. If we want to. But have Do we got we anyone else who can backfill the gap? Um. Well, we have more Panzer divisions if we want to bring them up. So we don't need to move it, we just need to know they can do it if we need to, that's all. Yeah, well we have the, um, yes, we have the 6th Panzer Division here. So that's uh, it, I think you can go ahead then and, and knock on the door of Riga with one of them then. Now, looking at this, we have a 14 defense here at Riga. We do. Do we want to bring up a couple of Panzer Divisions and attack it, or do we want to try to swing out around it and surround it? Well, it's certainly going to be better from attacking from the other side of the river than it will be right. from this side. Okay, so if we were to come up here like that with this unit. So before you, before you attack with him... Well, I'm not attacking with him at the moment. I'm just okay. moving him up. So we, we've got up him there. Um, I'm looking here for, okay, we have this 6th Panzer Division. So I would get him. Will we go I'm there, you think, or what? How far on if we go the other side of the river, how many points does he have left movement point? Um can't. He can he, we could stack. But that would be it. No, I'd do what you were gonna do then. Yeah. Yeah. Does it help to attack from more than one location or is it or does it matter? Meaning if we stack them versus attacking from, you know, a deliberate attack um from two different locations, does that matter to you now? Um I don't know if it. I don't know if it uh, helps us at all. But I know what. I I know what will happen is we'll get a negative for attacking across the river. So right. I think. I think if there was no river, I'd say do it because it it makes logical right. sense and must be factored in somewhere. But because there's a river, then I think that we could still do it. But I still think we'd win the battle. Well, fifty-fifty. But I wouldn't want to do it if. There was a river there, if you know what I mean. My, my natural instinct is not to do okay, that. Yeah, but before right. you do that, I'm not. I, I don't know that we you, are going to do this, but yeah. Okay. It, but but if you do choose to do it, if you make sure the HQ of both of those divisions is within five hexes, it can lend its support units, which will make it. Okay. Well, we can the, do the that. The attack value higher. Let's move yes. them up to there. So I would put him. Moving to the crossroads. See. Yeah, so if we've got to gonna... make sure that he's not left on his own. Right. Because it's and only that's HQ. Why we're gonna, but that... we're going to move this um, motorized yeah. division up just because I don't want to forget it later on. So, what you've done there now is you've now cut off that whole peninsula. Right. So that they're all, they're, all, they're all done for. They can only take supply from those ports, and we'll take them next turn. And then they'll have no ports, and then they'll be out of supply, and they can ju they'll just get destroyed. So we've only got okay. to debate how we're going to go about this. Okay. Other so than bringing stayed. up more units, is there any reason to wait? No. It, it, it's that type of thing. Uh, any other unit that gets up there is going to be in the same situation. It just gives us more strength. So that's right. just debatable whether you want to do that or not. Two to one deliberate attack. Well, I think there's one more somewhere. I think it's the it's the um the SS brigade is is a, another part of that. It's there, yeah. Mm, it's attached to the HQ. We can bring it up though. Let's bring it up. So this way we'll have a deliberate attack with three divisions. Yeah. 
give all three. Let if you let all three. Okay, fifty-seven to fourteen. So that seems like a better operation. Thousand men. That's good. To our yeah, that's good. So it, okay. it's gone. It's gone. So you can move into Riga now. And you got 10 victory points for that, so that seems worth it on first turn, doesn't it? And they can have a little murder party there, <laughs> which is what happened Which is what happened historically. I don't know if you've seen footage of that. Um, that was basically what happened in Riga and several of these places when they showed up. Yep. As we were saying earlier in the previous episode, yes, it's the bad guys versus the bad guys, and we're very aware of that. All right, okay, so we have a reasonable um, chain of control or whatever you want to call it through here with this um, advance. We have, so what I would try... Yeah? I was just going to say, what I would try and do now is stick one more unit or maybe two more behind these Russian units, cut them right. off completely and make that a pocket. Right, okay, so we, we have that. Okay. I am, hmm, we've got this division here, and we could come up. Yeah, move them to there. We can come up to here. And now, um, this division, should we... Are we going to worry about them coming after our HQs? Should we keep a, a front line yes. here? For, yes. Okay, yes. so so we'll come up and we'll move him to here. And we'll swing him around this way here. Yep. That's it. Now, that lot there are encircled. Next turn, those 11s as defense values will drop to probably 1s. Okay. That'll be much easier to get rid of. And and the reason we've done that is just to get practice at making a pocket. So we get used to what we've got to do to get rid of the Russian army. Okay. Um, Merlitale says taking Riga on turn one is essential. If left to the position becomes much stronger on turn two. Very good to know. Um, so Thank we have you. taken it um, and secured our way up there. We have a so, reasonable front line, yes. Those um panzer units, the 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 luminous pink ones. Yes, the or well, no, the the okay the these. There's, these there's two. Are... There's, there's two more infantry divisions in the same core. Right. Just, I reckon here. Okay. Yeah, oh, we I... actually have another panzer division here under these this stack yeah. here. So we so should move the Panzer Division somewhere. Where would... So I would go up that here way. Here or, or, or join up with the Riga push? I would go the other way. I would okay. go up that way here. So We're not going to make a pocket, but we're just going to go as far as we can. Right. And again. Yeah, and again. Well, let's see about that. Get, get rid of that armor unit. I don't like armor. Okay. 16 to 2. I think a hasty attack will do it. Tank division routed. Very good. Well, okay. Let's look. What are we going to be doing with these guys um are they going to come let's so i see. think something very similar so i think something very similar to what we've done but in 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 a bigger scale so the dark green ones are going to get rid of as many of the fortresses as we can on that little sticky out bit right now <laughs> well what i'm wondering is is how well i think we're going to leave this one here for the moment because we yep. want to try to coordinate it with whatever is going to be coming out of here whether to swing more north or to swing more south or to just keep sort of moving, um, you know, straight up this, you know, um, what is it, northeast direction. Okay. 
and as you're talking about so we have this and we'll deal with getting some of these headquarters moved up in a bit once things are a little more secure but i guess we'll start here and we will start cleaning up some of these four three we'll take the weakest one guess first ah uh, the that's the mount mountain general that one if you click on him again when he attacks here um yeah, no, I think it might have been in, he might have been in the core, but I'm sure it was Forrester. See the uh, mountain in general. Forrester, don't know. Not sure. Not sure. It, it'll come up again, and when you attack again, don't worry. Okay. Yeah. No. Um, there, yeah. Forrester. See him. Right. I'm sure that he was a mountain general. Don't matter. It'll be here. Um, maybe. Otto Forrester? Don't know the name. Yeah, they're Mission German generals. The I don't know the name. Them. Okay, so now. We have so you've done really well there. So I this five would defensive um, get... unit. Yeah. I would, yeah, I was just going to say get the rest of his core and carry on. So, that, yeah, infantry units in the same group and just carry on. You can use him because he's unattached at the moment. Yep, yep. Now, Deliberate I'm attack wondering, yeah, yeah. With both of these, just overkill. That's it, but, it's got rid of him, and that's the important thing, isn't it? Right. And then, either you move him up gamer or you use him to clean out as much of those um, fortress divisions yeah. as you can because then that'll free up all the others yeah you're right that'll be most likely I think our best use even though we're going to fight him to stand still next turn he's probably not going to fight a lot because he'd be further behind so he'll just move up. Right. So he can he can get recover over that period of time. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to exhaust the hell out of him. And then does he have any friends in his core? Say so the sick ID yeah, in he, the fourth yeah, core. Yeah. He he is out. Okay, um, so you've only got think... that other one with five left. I would move him in front of that Panzer division. So um yeah, this... that one, that's it. Moving right up to the Panzer Division. Not Panzer, Armour Division. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Um, is your core, are they all still in... in um... We can move them up. Yeah, move them up a little bit, just so he's... Um, That'll be safe. Them. It'll it'll be safe there, I'm sure. Yeah. And then... You've got an option. You either carry on with the greens as you are, or you use some of these unassigned units at the back that are in white. That would probably be better. Um, so, gamer, you're the expert in World War Two imagery as in making images for games mm -hmm. with these images in here of, of all these generals do you think that they're real life images or just computer adaptations of them when they come up uh, on the little combat screens well th yeah, this 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 is papa hoth here i reckon i recognize him not just um from seeing there so that's papa hoth now they've um did an effect to sort of make it this way so they're probably all looking the same um you know uh, in a graphics effect i don't specifically know which one let's click on another and because i tell you what there. 
I tell you no, what, so guys far, in the no. military don't half like their picture being taken, don't they? Well, I don't know. Um, people don't like cameras stuck in their face, at least until this, this is the, recent This is age. before the day of the selfie, before the age right, of the yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, And there's a picture of every general, you know what I mean? Well, you know, before that there was a paintings of many generals. I don't know if every general, but that was a, a thing. So um, now were a lot of these photos taken maybe when they're not looking their best but so it's just this this looks like hopner i think they they got it and they're just putting in a, an effect over it. notice that they've have here and here like it's from a um uh, uh id id card folder thing you know because that's how they would use sort of a uh, a grommet to hold the the photo in and then they've added the national sort of banner here let's see can we click on no, I was wondering if we could get who the Soviet was image, but yeah, so they've done that. And um, here we can see here Keller again, they're using that. So they're, they're, they're very much trying to keep these all looking the same um, with their style so it all matches. Don't worry, Eric, we're still on um, the first 20% of the first turn. <laughs> yes, and we definitely are. We, as we get going, we may end up doing one turn per episode, but that may be wishful thinking. Um, but that, you know, that is the nature of this beast. All right. Okay. So we've got, we pushed out here. We pushed here now. Um, we have some units back here. Um, Okay, we could come yeah, use here. The, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I you've got two things that you need to think about here now, gamer. It is a going north and and forward, but also your pocket going south. So, right, you're probably going to want to use your illuminous green Panzer the Panzer Army that hasn't moved yet to come in and swing south into Minsk. Where's Minsk? Minsk is right here. Oh, okay. So it's moved forward and north a bit. So let me right. rearticulate. So okay. So the, here, the... here's here's the uh, Priapet marshes right here. So right along here is sort of this dead zone that we're going to establish for the north element, not necessarily Correct. army group north, but north element. And below this is our sort of southern, you know, coming into um, the Ukraine here. So yep. um, I'm not quite sure this being bona fide hardcore war game graphics are absolutely top notch. Yeah, they're they're doing very good, I think, on their graphics. Um, but so we're going to have to. I mean, this is such a badly placed swamp for ourselves here, um, as we can see as we get in here. Um, there are some railways here. That we can get some supply, but we're going to have to watch all of that and how we move forward um, and create pockets. So we're going to have, I presume, pockets to the north and pockets to the south of this. Yep, definitely. So we're looking this force here. We could we could swing it south, but I think most of this here, because I'm seeing. Some armor here. Um, got some infantry. We, I think, should have some armor out here. Um, in Romania, there's some German army. There's, German there's, armor. Defi there's definitely a Romanian armor brigade somewhere. Right, but I would. Okay, this is probably the Romanian. Okay, that's the Romanian armored division. I thought Germany had an armored division or two down here. Um. Uh, I don't know if they did it at the start or whether they, they got yeah, sent maybe, down there later. Yeah, that may be a bit later. Um, I guess it's just if and three divisions down here. So what as we see here, okay. Okay, so this is gonna be our main armor thrust. And of course they can't move on turn one down there, Gamer. What we've got to do to unlock that is we've got to get one single unit either east or south of Levov. Is it Lovov? There it is. You see, you see it's come right up. Here. Right yeah, here. 
We need to be right. east or south of that to unlock the southern bits. Well, we should be able to do that. Well, well technically, we're, we're almost straight north of it here, so we just move into here, so that shouldn't be too big of a problem. In, okay. in, in War in the Game, in War in the East 1, you actually had to get all the way down to the border, so they've amended that slightly, which is good. Okay, so we have here, just sort of looking for use, we have the Liebstandarte Brigade, which is really a division, but um, the, it, it, the naming convention um, was always sort of behind it. For some reason, this is starting with zero movement this turn. Yes, it's uh, locked this turn. It unlocks next turn. Right, okay. But but we keep that in mind for, for future operations. Das Reich and Vinking is here, and I guess this is locked this turn as well. But we have uh, the 16th Panzer, the 9th Panzer down here, the 14th, um, 16th Motorized yep. Division. Okay, the eleventh Panzer. Okay, I'm not saying we have enough by any means, because obviously they didn't. They lost, but um, we have significant amounts of Panzers that we can sort of thrust in. Okay, let's talk grand strategy here a little bit on this scale. This is absolutely the Riga um, movement is absolutely um, critical, necessary, not really open for debate of whether we should or shouldn't do it. But what are our goals? Do we want to try to come out here north of Lvov and try to pocket all this down to Odessa? Do we want to try to sort of just roll or try to drive to Kiev and roll this, try to roll this up with local forces? What 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 sort of big big plans do we want to try to keep in mind as goals and objectives other than simply moving forward? It's a really good question. We could go anywhere with this discussion. So do stop me if I go off track. So in my mind, you know, this is about knocking Russia out of the war before the end of 41. Because if it goes beyond that, I don't care what anyone says. I think the war's finished. Um, so, and, and and that's just in history. Right. So I think our, our goal has got to be to get rid of Moscow and Leningrad. You know, we've got to get either, we've got to get rid of both of those places by the end of 41. So objective number one for me is getting rid of Leningrad and swinging whatever is north, south to take out Moscow as quick as we can. In the south, what's the objective? Well, I think the objective is a more not allowing ourselves to get too over too far forward but as far forward as we can get if that makes sense so we don't want to be at stalingrad because you know that's going to be quite a long stringed out line but we want to be in a rough straight line so we want to be i think we want by the end of 41 to be taking the line of towns that is tula oriel kursk krokov you understand you want to be in that line as you go down mm -hmm. so i think that your immediate goals to answer your question is both Odessa and Kiev. I think that that armor group has got to first come south a little bit to to unlock all the Romanians and all the things in the southern bit. And then once that's unlocked, swing north to Kiev. Mm -hmm. And then allowing the Romanians, who unfortunately have just got to take Odessa on their own. We, we, we haven't got enough manpower, I don't think, to do both with that panzer group right well you know i just and as you were saying is and yeah we definitely can see um i guess what you call them victory um hexes here or p positions or however you want to say it I had just an interesting thought what if we is it and yeah i know some you know other um you know, Talon and Smolensk and whatever on the way, but what what would would what kind of victory conditions would we be seeing if we actually take Leningrad and Moscow in forty one? Would that win us this war in this game? Do you think or not? It would be so close, then you know it, we might have to take one more place. Then we would tip us over the edge. But the answer is yes. I think simply put. Because well, if you okay, look at all the other victories, okay, 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 yeah, and 
you know, um, hello, Alex Plays. Yeah, YouTube is, is messed up with its notifications. I'm very glad to have you here. Okay. Why? Is there a good reason, it, it, you know, if we've determined that if we take more than likely, if we take uh, Moscow and Leningrad, which of course they never did both. In my opinion, they could have taken Mos or Leningrad, but they just decided to besiege it, thinking it's going to be an easier um, thing, and obviously that doesn't work out. Um, should we push all the armor north of the Peripet Marshes, basically? Should we just do an infantry, you know, basically, and I don't know if, you know, What's going to happen to all these forces down here if we just push the German infantry east and along with the Hungarians, the Romanians and whatever else, you know, Slovakians and whatever else we find that we can add to our front? Or is that going to free up too much of their forces and they're just going to come charging north? Um, so that's a really good argument. And, and hit us in the flank. Yeah, there's a really good argument. And it, and it's not also, it's not so much do they come north and hit us in the flank. And there's also a question about do we leave too many units on the map? Because part of beating the Russians is getting rid of as many units as you can. So right. you want to surround them and get rid of them, not just let them run away. Because units that run away come back. So right. if we can take them off, they're gone forever. So there is a question about, you know, do we miss out on pocketing in the south because we've all gone north? Right. So I think in, in a real world sense, it's probably best to push down in here. I was just wondering if if this game would, would count I, as I, having a victory by and just um, not quite ignoring it, but um, deprioritizing it to the point of, you know, I don't even know, is there even a good reason to leave any armored forces down here or and just concentrate? Or do we stick with the historical disposition of of the armored forces or not the key point is there's nothing stopping you right the, well I'm, I'm asking what you, your thoughts are on this well, well you know i think it's a big risk and i think it's a big risk because if you look at all those units on the map now what you're right, right. on now that, that there's an I, awful I, lot exertion i don't really take this we're playing this together so so yeah. we're we're, we're going to agree upon i i think there's strength. just an awful lot of units we're missing out on capturing Okay. I mean, that, that, that's a very legit um, idea. Now, historically, um, one, they thought there was going to be a collapse of the Soviets. Two, Hitler was very worried about resources, including the resources in the Ukraine. So where they weren't worried about that, I don't even think it entered their minds when they were attacking France of like, oh, well, where's the factories or where's the mines? No, they were just getting in there to defeat the French army, take the French, you know, political centers of Paris and whatnot and achieve victory. They weren't worrying about where the where the grapes were growing, the wines that they wanted to drink or whatever. Um, that was not entering their minds in their in their planning phases, but very much so at least from everything I've read and heard, um, you know, getting the Ukraine for its food and other things and its resources generally were were high priorities for German planning, which very well may have been a mistake um, on the Germans' part. And I was just wondering whether, ignoring it. Okay, I, I'm going to take your point and, and agree that we probably shouldn't um, ignore um, the Ukraine front, as we can maybe call it. Um, so now, with that in mind, um, the next big question is, and you've been talking about it, is pocketing versus um, achieving the goal of particularly Moscow. Mm -hmm. They had this yeah. debate partway through, um, obviously, historically, and they stopped, what, for 10 days and debated on whether to make pockets or rush to Moscow. So, we, so, can, we, we, can, we can continue to push through, and, I, and, and I'm not so much worried about first turn here. 
But oh, how long is the turn um, daytime? You know, day. Do you know? It's a week. I think it's a week. week. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not worried about like first turn or, or second turn, but do we worry more about creating big pockets and eliminating units like you talk about? And I'm sure it's a good idea. Or do we stay more focused on achieving Leningrad and Moscow for the northern fronts? Do we let do we let units escape and get Leningrad and Moscow while we're trying to make pockets or whatnot down here in the south? But do we, or do we um, try to eliminate the army forces? You know, is it, is it, are we doing too much in trying to do both, get pockets and take these points in 1941? Hey, Gilmer. That is a really good question. I, you know, going on, going on war in the East one, you definitely had to try and do both, I think. Um, you know, if you could pocket as much as you liked. If you didn't take the victory points, you would eventually just there'd be too many Russian units appearing because, you know, come turn three or four, they start slapping down new units everywhere. So, you know, it didn't matter how many you pocketed because there was always more, always more coming. So there is there is a cause of thought that actually you've just got to get there and take the victory points as well. So. What would I do? I think we've uh, we've got to go and take Leningrad and Moscow, but we can't mm. stop pocketing. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm, you know, obviously, like, this pocket here is, yeah, that's, that's great. We have not um, delayed our push to Riga for this. We have not delayed any real panzer thrust for this, as well as the sort of Curlin pocket here that we created for them that Germany then later was in their own Curlin pocket um, in 45. But um, that, you know, because I'm just, because we can push right from these panzers here, we can push north, because I am look, trying to also look very much with creating, you know, um, uh, lines of control, if you will, as we, we push deeper into it. Um, but looking at the railways and wanting to follow the railways because i do know and i don't know it's been a long time since i played but this is an engineering unit here that will repair railways if i'm not mistaken yes Isn't, yeah okay so we i mean this turn we won't be controlling this railway here but eventually we will so it will um secure that railway and um keep and supplies always, moving we can always take the railway to the north up the sea and bring it around whilst we wait so you just see there, just going across the border up past the memo. Uh, oh. What are we talking about? Oh. Yeah, there, uh. yeah. Go up there and then hang left. There's a junction there on, on the sea, on the front. Uh, memo up one? There. Yeah, here? Then, no, up one square from memo. Up one square from memo. Oh, here? Heck, yeah, and then you see it goes right. Yes. Yes. So we we can we could use that if if we can't because of that pocket we can still do it. We just got to shift that armor unit. Okay. Well, um, we somewhat are out of forces for shifting that armor unit this turn. I think you still have a Panzer unit down there. I'm sure that you mm. haven't moved it. Oh no, you moved one. Yeah. 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 So we, got, we got this guy going this way. Okay. Uh, so yeah no it's it's fine here i think we're, we're we're fine this turn but it's we we want to very i'm very sure you know i know i haven't played this deeply but the this rail line here as well as this rail line here will need to secure yeah here and um what is barrett bailey's said a free exertion um, don't know if you know him. Um, no. Nope. Uh, sadly, but yeah, I'll probably. Oh, haven't heard from you. I don't know. Um, oh, who's this? Oh, oh, he's, yeah, it's free surgeon, surgeon here. He's uh, helping comment and strategize and very much teach me the details of the game. So okay, so we if we're going to move up here, and so. We're trying to, we will come back and focus in on the immediate tactical situation. 
but goal of Leningrad and Moscow. So Minsk and Smolensk will need to be taken. Uh, and we'll need to clear a way through up to here. And these rails will need to be secured. Uh, well, Gamer is struggling with the game. Yep, a little bit. But we're trying but, to figure out the strategies here. Yes? Well, I think your, your strategy is fine. So if we go both up those rail lines to Minsk and Smolensk, then you actually, you're creating a pocket naturally, aren't you? So if right. the blue Panzer Group, I think that's Panzer Group 2, just goes north where, east, taking those two rail lines that you've just articulated. And then if Panzer 3 just comes across in a straight line game to Minsk, which is the yellow one further up, Get that one there, yeah. Right, yes. So that just goes in a straight line. You make a pocket, don't you, naturally? Right. Okay. So that that's exactly what I was trying to to sort of figure out. Get our get our long term goals, and then how best. Because I will say I have a tendency to sort of naturally flow with units like this. Of of you know if, if I sort of describe it as water flowing through least resistance and creating pockets, advancing to where we can you know get objectives and keep going. I often forget, not, not, it's not it's a bad strategy, it often works with Hearts of Iron 3 quite well, um, but often losing sight of ultimate objectives like Leningrad and Moscow. Um, but so I just sort of wanted to plan because we have sort of the decisions to make here. Okay, so what I'm suggesting now, instead of, we're going to, obviously this turn is going to take a multiple sessions to make which is fine we are going to break out and around brest here and so um there's prepat proper so let's so if we're going to do that let's use the blues and the purple purples to clear out as much as we can before we move them right yeah, that's that's sort of the my thought. Okay, so let. So you've got that's only a regiment. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, what? Well, yes, yeah, right. Good. We're going one after the, the the much weaker forces here. I'm hoping. I'm looking. Okay, I'm looking here at the. Um, yeah, that's a bit weak there. Um, you could try and do both together if you want. Shift and hold and, yeah. and go over. Yeah. You could, could probably... Can both of them do it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, there we go. I just wanted to clear that flank out. And then here with... Let's do a deliberate attack. That's a rather strong unit, okay. Yeah, I would use that infantry unit to exhaustion and try and take out as many of them. Yeah. yeah. Right, so that, that one's going to be a hard nut to crack. Yeah, right. one more, and then stop, and then we go oh. down the blue side. Okay, so they've secured to there. And then... Yeah, that was a good place. Oh, oh, maybe the one to the right of that camera, and take out the Fortress Brigade. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, take out the fortress first. Yeah. There you go. 178 to 1. That's good odds, isn't it? Right. Now, let's see if we... Yeah. Do we want to do that? Just overwhelm this? 6 to 1? Yeah. Yeah, let's because it, then it allows you then to move forward and take out yeah. the other 9 on the other corner to the right. Right. Okay, these guys... We'll do a hasty attack there. Clear that. Yeah. 
So come here. These Both guys. Attack. Yeah. These guys will just do a hasty there, and then let's see what. What odds is Three that? to one. Three to one. Thirty to ten. Give it a go then. Three to one's not bad. Okay. There you go. So we push that there. Yeah, so I'd move that bottom yeah, move that bottom one up there, that's it. That's it. Oh. I but I'd take both of them together if I were you, gamer, yeah, and, and then let's not let's make sure. Because they're both blues, so we're not losing anything. Yeah, that's it. Take them out. And the same again if we can. What's that? Okay. Just bear just slightly less than two to one. Do we wanna assault the Breslatov fortress? Well if you're not if you're worried that it's not enough, you've got a blue infantry division just yeah, just there. That's it. You could add them in and make five different units attack that one fortress. Total overkill, I know, but it gets rid no. of him. Nope, it's not total overkill, it's, it's effective. Okay, so, so we've, we've got that. Yeah, that's out. gone. We didn't repeat the mistake of history there, see? Right. Okay, now we have. Well, that, took, does that take two weeks, gamer, to get rid of that in real life? Uh, well, there was a. Um, a small, I mean, they, they, they took it, the overall city, fairly quickly, um, like like about two weeks or whatever. But it was like a month or so of a holdout group uh, in, in the fortress of like, I don't know, less than 100 people that fought to the death. So there there was a, you know, a small core that was just, you know, sort of besieged in there. Yeah, so now we... Um create our, our line again like we did up up in right. the north so if you move your infantry first and see how far okay. we can get with them right so they're going to come up to here yeah and attack yeah leave him where he is but if he can yeah, attack him yeah. yeah that'll do we're going to come back for this guy to here. Yeah, and then shift the army unit if he's got enough. Yep. Right. Oh, uh, yeah, one more, but then that probably leave him where he is then. Yeah. He's exhausted, but we've moved them up. Now, HQs. Okay, that's what I was looking for. No, I want. No. Yeah, there. That's a good idea. So I think that's really good. You've made some real good progress there. If you now look at the back, if you look at behind the front line there, game, you've got a load of blue units further yeah. back. Motorized, if you move, yes. yeah, I would move them first now because they're, they're at least four or five hexes further away. So if you move them first, we know then the ones on the front line can get even further. Yeah, that one's probably the furthest one, isn't it? Yeah, the SS rock. That's right. Okay. But I'm just trying to. Okay. I'm trying to get the. Okay, so I guess Das Reich will go north. The rest of these may go south. Yeah, I, I think so. Unless you want to move him out of that command into a different, then yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Right, so we'll come up to here. Yeah. And then leave him. Yeah, and then move the rest to try and make a chain onwards from him. Okay, here are their HQ, so I'm going to move the HQ up to here. I'd move them even on top of the... yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just getting them up to here. Just partially I'm worried a little bit about how far away he's from his parent HQ. 
And so I wanted to stack them with, yes, an exhausted unit, but still it's a unit that um, will help protect. Okay. Can he, can he get across the river there, gamer? Yeah, he can get up to here. Yeah, one. Could, I'd go one back from there to start off with. Yeah, here? yeah. No, to the here. Up, yes, there. And then just see if he can get one more across that river. Yeah, it's a good bridgehead now. Because what that does is it means it's easier for other units to follow him through across that river. So he's done the hard work. Put the bridges right. down if you like. Reds, the rest can just go across. You just got to be careful with the route they take. Okay. Yeah. They're, they're routed, but they're exhausted. That's the Deutschland. That's probably the. Uh... Gross, yeah, Gross Deutsche Mutter Regiment, yes. It's probably the uh, best German regiment, that one. Mm hmm Very much so. So, what's good about that is you haven't moved any of that front armoured core yet. And we, we're halfway up that road, aren't we? Mm hmm So... Yeah, you, if you knock it, get him out of the way. If we now have a... How much further have we got to go up that motorway before we reach Minsk? So Minsk is up here. So if we go one more and take that airfield... Yeah. We can then probably reach Minsk with, with the Blues, Panzer Group 2, can't we? Yeah. Those two there, for example, they could definitely. Okay. Um... Let's move this HQ up to here. All right. Okay. No, we can't. It's just that's a that was a cavalry, wasn't it? That one. No, this here. Um... Okay, there we go. Yeah. They're falling back. What else can we get up here with them? Okay. Yeah, we probably need somebody in that gap, don't we? Well, it's both the gap and trying to move enough force up here for coordinated attack. Is what I'm thinking at the moment. Did you come up path of least resistance? That's why I'm clicking sort of intermediate. Stops. Right, okay, well we have... Okay, well let's... Okay, the oh, cavalry... One more deck. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm, what I'm looking for is... Um, like, moving... Like... So, you, yeah, yeah, that looks well, good. Well, 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 um... No, what I think we want to do is come to here. Let's secure our flanks with this cavalry unit, not the not the panzer unit here. And they fell back to there. We keep pushing here. Okay. Just be that's... careful you don't get out of range of your HQ. Yeah, well see that's why I moved the HQ up here. So that he is there. So we're just securing to some degree this flank here. Right, okay. Now. Mm. So you've got loads of green spare units in there. You know, you can probably clear a path to Minsk that way as well, couldn't you? 
with some of the infantry that you've got left there? Yes. Because a Let's lot of what's in if... front of you has already run away. Let's see what we can do here. Let's move. Move some of the white ones at the back gamer first. Because then, yep, you, then you right, can fill right, your holes you're right, that you're, you're going right. to make. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, he can he can hit him then, can't he? Yep. Defenders oh. held. They held. Okay. Well, we have other units to move up, and we should have. Um, been a little better about that, but oh wow, these guys have held. Yeah. We, I, we, I, I blew this. Okay, let's get both of these in. Deliberate attack. They retreated. There, there's something wrong with that unit. It's fighting too well. <laughs> It's not supposed to oppose I suppose, me. I suppose they can't all run away. Oh, come on. Yeah, fill maybe, that hole. Just maybe yeah, maybe they can maybe they units. can get some lessons from the French. I don't know. Okay, let's oh, no. see but let's get this I guy. Get myself here. into trouble. Can't say too much. Right. Okay, um, yeah, these guys just can't get up too far, but we're going to move them for future turns. But not exhaust them if, if, if you've got one more as well, that's lying around, it's a white one. Not too much, I guess. That, that one there, what's that one? Yeah. yeah. Move that one right round to the front. You see, do you see there where just, it's hard for me to explain. On the edge of our right hand pocket, if you put him right on the edge of the front to, to stop our flank from, yeah, yeah, in there somewhere. Okay, we, we can get to here. If you go down a bit from there, but you, to the no, same sort of level. No. Back one, back one. Yeah, we can go to here. Put him in there because then the green ah, infantry right. unit can yes. then move forward from there. Right, absolutely. Okay, so we will move now him. Yeah. No, no. him. Not him. That's okay. it. Now you can that's it, you can get in there then and clear the way that way. Okay. Well so, we don't have too much movement left, so we're gonna do a deliberate attack, just overwhelming. And we and we're not too far then from from our home. Right. And I think there's a, there was another infantry unit, yeah. one one above him. At the air, that's it. There, he can do the similar sort of thing. Clean out that guy. Those two there. That's him gone. That's good. What are the plans for um, Crimea? Bypass or try to take it? Well, okay. Here, here's my current thoughts on it. And by the time we get there, things may change, of course. One, we're going to try to be laser focused on pocketing units here in the Crimea, and, or not, and not Crimea, in the Ukraine, and driving for Moscow and Leningrad in sort of the north central fronts, if you will. Now, um, when we get down there, if we can take it, yeah. If it's a difficulty because either they've got a good, you know, force holding it here or well dug in at Sevastopol or something, 
I say leave it and you know bypass it, but we'll we'll come there. I'm sure when we get there, that whatever I'm saying now is not going to be, you know, something that hold us to it once we see the conditions on the ground. There, at least that's my current thoughts, which is I don't know, but we're gonna we're gonna try to stay objective focused. Okay, so we've cleared out here. We, so I think. Yeah, yeah, you've done a good job there. I'm really happy with how you've cleared that all out. So I think we could probably test the water now with one of the green Panzer units. Well, and maybe dry let's... forward. Hmm. Because we have this unit here. Do we want to try to push? Well, through, through I would way? leave him for now. Okay. And not because I think what what you're saying is wrong, but. If we can't take Minsk, how far forward do we want to go and isolate him? Do you understand what I mean? Right, okay. And, and, and okay. All right, we might not take it, but we want to be on the verge of taking it at the very least. So. Okay, so we're coming with this motorized division. Yeah, I would just, yeah, clean everyone out. Part of what I'm looking with him is this railway system up here. Definitely. And while using the motorized to Panzer forces to drive straight at Minsk, use him securing the northern flank. But let's. Okay, what we need to do is move up our HQ. Yeah, when he's done those two attacks, I think he probably has got to stay sort of where he is. If you do it again, I'll deliberate it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Should have delivered it first, but yes. Okay, so he'll he'll stay there. Now. There's another motorized at the back there. Yeah, I know. Um, we have two infantry divisions that we can move up to fill up some of that gap. As yeah, maybe good idea. Needed. Okay, now here. Yeah, this looks like it may be a... Okay, we're going to take the one in the hills here first because it'll probably be the easiest. So it'll be a bit stronger when we take them in the swamp or whatever that is. Uh, do we have an undo button here? Yeah. Okay. Do, but sometimes it won't let you if you've exposed people that you probably shouldn't have done it right you know well, what I mean? probably here units, would have been yeah. better but but we can take these out clearing paths right and okay. that's a good enough place yeah, yeah i would yeah. i would leave him there yeah yes okay so now we have this division we can come to here. He's coming out of a different HQ. Um, I think so. Yeah, let's move him up then. Um, I guess to there for the moment. Oh, wait a minute. Did I move the wrong? Yeah, I moved the wrong unit. Oh, you should okay. be able to undo that. It's, it's on the toolbar at the top. You can undo that one. Yeah, okay, let's there undo this one. I didn't want to move the, the... I just wanted to move the HQ. There we go. Um, yeah, that's where I wanted to go with it. There we go. Now, just that it's a little closer to support. This is the weak 
the one first, I guess. I don't know. Maybe the stronger one first would have been better. But either way, I think we'll take them. There we go. Okay, that is done with that force now. Hmm. Did so we've created this we got a panzer here? unit. At the yeah, we, we got, see the well, panzer see, unit. Yeah. So I was just going to say the the top blue panzer unit of your chain. Right. If you move it forward, if you move it forward one, you've made the pocket that on that. Right. On that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So it's just worth doing well, that now because then it's. Okay. Well, actually, we're going to move this. Oh, well, that, okay. Yeah. This one comes up, and it'll. Well, that's a lot of effort to get that one. Yeah, that one, I guess. We will. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. For some reason, that one's. Well, yeah, so now I would go back to what you were doing before, because you've closed your pocket. Now, all you've got to do is close that northern edge well, I of wanted, this. I want to take Minsk this turn. So, oh, okay. So what I'm wondering here is how Who's much... Who's getting the glory? Well, yes, in essence. Okay. Um, not this unit, this unit. Um, yeah, this unit here. Okay, so they can get to here. Um, yeah, north. What's the terrain like? Is there a river in there? Um, do we a... um, do we know of a button to remove the counters quickly? You know, I mean, just so that we don't see them. There is one. There is one. It's along the top there. Yeah. No. Uh, um. Ugly. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, no, the the looks like the river's on the far side, so we shouldn't have a so then problem. I, any right. of those squares will do. Yeah. Hexes will do. Yes. Okay. No, we want this, not that. Okay, so we're going to come through to here. And then to here. And then we're going to move you to. I don't know why it wants to go around, but I guess it's about as easy as. It doesn't like the there. mountains, does it? Yeah, I guess it doesn't. Okay. So that gets us from there. Now. I think two might be enough. It's only a five defensive. Okay. Deliberate attack, 13. No. I don't think that is 13 to 5. It's not even 3 to 1. I don't like that. I don't know if I'm being too skittish or not, but yep. let's move this up here. I know it's coming from different cores, but. Um, no, um, is you pressing shift? No, I'm push, I'm, shift. Yeah, I, push, I was pressing control, so that wasn't helpful. Um, there we go. Right, so that is week one objectives met there, then, Gamer. Yeah. Minsk and I think and on Riga. that point, we're going to end this episode. Minsk has fallen. We have secured it. It looks quite secure at the moment. We have created... Hey, thanks for following. Anybody else who hasn't already, please follow the channel and subscribe on YouTube. But um, we have pushed in this far so far this is still just turn one i hope you'll stay with this series we will be making them for now we're planning on making them live on friday evenings my time later evenings um on exurgent's time and um or of course you can catch them later on youtube at any time thanks everyone for um coming this far it's i'm finding this fascinating thank you exurgeon for your great advice and commentary and tutorialship thanks so much thank you everyone and so i think we're going to end this here for this episode thanks everyone